the Bible, Jacob and Esau represents two different creations. Jacob represents the nation of the Lord God, Israel, whereas Esau represents the nations of the other gods, Edom, the vision of Obadiah. This is what the Lord says about Edom. When that time comes, I'll get every country to go to war against you, and then I'll take away everything you love. You think your cities nestled high can save you. Though you soar like the eagle and make your nest among the stars, from there I will bring you down, declared the Lord. For I live above you. You think your wealth can sustain you. Be still until they get what they want. I will still until you have nothing left. You think your reputation can spare you. You say, we have allies, we can call for help. Don't you see your allies are my spies? You say, we have intelligent minds who can figure this out. And fierce warriors who can stare death in the face. Don't you get it? Your smartest men will die before you can hatch a plan. And your champions will melt in fear before me. All because you messed with my son, your brother, Jacob. When the Philistines attacked, you just stood there watching. When the Arabians raided the city, you joined the heist. The time will come when you will be faced with the same decision. Don't do it again. But you just can't help yourself. You will trigger the day of the Lord. And on that day, I will judge you and every nation with you until every wrong is made right. But I will allow Israel to escape my raft because I will make them holy. They will get their revenge on you for all the times that you wronged them. And there will be no survivors among you. Then they will finally live up to their potential. They will settle in all the lands I promised them. Every square inch will be theirs. And when all is said and done, the kingdom shall be the Lord's.